Еще раз. ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯನ್ ಸತ್ತ ಹಚ್ಚಂದ್ರ ರೆಡಿ ಸೊ 
that that breakfast is sponsored by one of our participants. I won't call him or not a member because we don't have any common center till now. But I am under pressure to do that. So I will expect uh, that some of you come forward and help me in uh, formalizing things so that at least Strata Character's work continues after us. That is very, very important. And that is also our objective and aim that youngsters would come forward. I always tell my young friend Visurup that you bring in younger people, your students and all, so that we pass on the baton to them and they carry it forward. Unless that happens, it will get stuck with people of our generation. And uh, that will also spell doom for the organization and whatever we little we try to do. So with uh, <coughs> sorry. So with uh, that objective or that uh, we may can say we are trying to do something in the period of uh, Theatre's history and culture. This month on 24th, we are going to Jajpur. As you know, it's the ancient capital of our state. Uh, at that point of time, there was no state of us. So we are trying to go on that trip and discover the culture and theatre's of Jajpur. So I request all of you to join us for that. Uh, and it is straight. Very good author. She's an established author. For the first time, she did a 
biography of Guru Karachar and Mahapatra. Then she did a comparative study of martial techniques of Odisha. Then she has done an autobiography, My Journey to Words. So I am a witness for literature. So I, I find that she has contributed substantially to literature and art. That's a very significant um, sign of our personality. So she is here. Let's listen to her story. And uh, I'd like to request her to take 45 minutes to one hour. And after that, after that, we'll have an interaction between the parties. So over to you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I couldn't find immediately the place. So well, uh, yeah, the, the problem is that when they introduce me, they, there is this, they start to say, oh, when I was very small, I used to see you roaming around in categories. <laughs> <laughs> so that already gives the dimension of the, uh, of the so many years ago. And in any case, in the Wikipedia also, my date of birth is wrong. <laughs> it's very much younger than what I am. Right. So, but uh, I, anyway, I, yeah, I, in my autobiography, which I call uh, The Tale of Two Birds, I consider uh, uh, the, my second birth when I came to Qatar in 79. So, naturally, if I start from there, I am only 43 now. <laughs> that would be nice. But then there is also all the previous one, which was uh, my uh, upbringing in Italy. Uh, so, yeah, I reached uh, Katak. And um, now, I, when I come to Katak, always uh, I feel uh, um, at home, even now. Although many things have changed, but uh, still not too much. So, about that, I'm quite happy. But I remember Tatak uh, the way it was. And uh, I don't know, uh, maybe yeah, some of you were already born uh, in uh, 79. Uh, some of you know, maybe. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was uh, surreal. I mean, it was something uh, which to uh, try to uh, represent it now, it will be very difficult. Um, uh, of course, there was. Uh, a lot of big show cooler, which are not more anymore. Uh, it was full of big show. It was only the only way to move around was by big show. So that's why maybe uh, when, uh, well, it's a big show cycle, of course. So I, I, I have been presented a cycle uh, almost immediately because I was alone, and Tata is, uh, is what it is, and uh, all the doors were open to me, and everybody was very, was very happy to have me there in the house, and to have to give a glass of milk, to give a meal, to give a... So, uh, so, and also to give a cycle at a certain point, very soon, they, they presented me. Uh, and uh, when my parents came after uh, one and a half year to see what, what was happening to their daughter, because I was not going back, to Italy. Uh, so he thought to give me, to, uh, to buy Luna for me. That was, Luna was uh, probably the second uh, type of uh, model of uh, two wheeler which came up. In, uh, and you can imagine in 1981, January 1981, the uh, to, to, to have to be, um, what, what is he saying, uh, white skin. And uh, roaming around in Luna, I think I was the only woman, probably. <laughs> uh, so, so everybody else, they were looking at me. But they were looking at me, uh, I, I never felt uh, uh, that it was uh, fastidious. Or, or, uh, it, 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 it was always with affection. I mean, uh, curiosity, but uh, it's very uh, warm curiosity. Uh, I was roaming around in every uh, every time of the day and night because uh, Guruji used to, Tirubabu used to uh, compose late in the night. I was the last one to, to come out from the house uh, until the light was gone, I was there. So, 2 o'clock in the night, I was coming back, crossing 
from uh, San Sefil, no, sorry, from uh, Bagrava to San Sefil, no, from, uh, yeah. And, um, uh, but nobody in 11 years that I was here, nobody would say once, uh, hey, hello, hi. Those kind of things that usually, as a foreigner, you would attract. You would make sure if you go around uh, uh, like this, there will always be somebody who follows you, ask you for something, trying to. Here, I, I was very respected and loved. And, uh, and uh, so I. I, I don't know, I, it, it was an atmosphere very, very, um, an atmosphere which was very privileged, according to me. And uh, uh, maybe because I was alone, uh, I, I had to, um, I, I communicate, I, I met my algebra and I communicated with the people more. Uh, and the people are incredible, they are better. So, so all, the, all this, Memories which I had from the houses we hosted me, and uh, not only so I don't know where I was staying, but uh, but so many others. I mean, I, I would love to have all of them in my mind, which is impossible because there were too many. So, so my life here was uh, everybody knew I I was going from one place to another. To, uh, always trying to reach Guruji's house at any time of the day, night, uh, with any weather. So, so many times uh, I went back from there the, with the rain, uh, my flooded, uh, the, the, the road would be flooded and the motor would be uh, switching off in my Luna, so I, I would put, had to push it. But whatever it is with my raincoat, uh, I, I, I could never stop and I would never, uh, um, I, I, I would always reach to this house. Uh, so, um, and, and uh, uh, so this this was um, uh, the, the, uh, it was for uh, 11, uh, 11 years I was here. Uh, so um, there, there was many anecdotes, many incidents which happened. Uh, of course, and uh, there are some of my friends here uh, who would uh, remember better than me. Uh, I was called many ways, like. Um, Somebody would call me Puloka Sutari, somebody would call Rangabati, uh, Heroina. So I had all these uh, beautiful apologies. Uh, and uh, I had a Luna which had a um, basket which was uh, fixed in front of me. So I had certain shops where I was going and I didn't have any to get down from the Luna because the, the shopkeeper would directly put the uh, vegetable and everything in the, in the basket. So Luna was like an extension of myself. And I, I, one of the appellative was Munavali. So, uh, so when actually, even now when I meet people, uh, they say, oh, I remember when I was really small, I was going to school, you were, you were going to around with Luna and all this thing. So that Luna, I think, is, is a, a representative of my life in time. Uh, I, at, a certain way, uh, at a certain point, I also purchased a Maruti, but, but it was, Maruti was for when I started to uh, commute to Gubaneshwar when Guruji shifted. But inside Qatar, it would be always Luna. And uh, it was the best way to, to roam around, of course. Uh, so, yeah, I was with Simon Noel. I think I was the first one to, to adopt this big guest system in Qatar. I don't think it was existing. My payment was um, 300 rupees per month, and it was including uh, lunch and dinner. The breakfast would be always sugar and currently, because I actually, when I, when I came, I thought that I was still in uh, a clip. So I was still coming out from my EP period. So I never thought that I would put roots any, anywhere. So I came with very small, very few things, just a small bag, very small bag, and um, uh, with one book, which was very important, because I wanted to learn some movement to choreograph, not choreograph, to put into play. I was doing theater. So a, a story from that book. And, uh, and then just uh, not even a dress or anything, a small bag like this. 
so I never thought that of course I speak of the entire life. So so I um, so whatever whatever happened, uh, I, I was in, uh, in uh, I, I got this paying guest accommodation and uh, I I still I remember when uh, uh, for one year I was uh, with uh, one Chitta. Chitta was uh, in Tata uh, Bazaar before going to San Android. So um, there I learned most of the Korean because in, her, in his family uh, nobody knew English except a little bit Chitta. Um, so the, the, the daughter, the, 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 daughter, the sister, the mother and everything, I, I, I learned from, from, uh, from them the Korean, which was very essential and important because here, knowing Korea open, I mean, one, one word of my Korea would just, uh, the, the, any, uh, the, the faces of the people would immediately light up. And uh, I would immediately uh, communicate, even if my Korea was very pure, uh, it was very not the so, but one Korea word was enough to communicate with, open up, enter into the heart of the people. So that was always very important. So I, I learned it very quickly, and I, I learned it from this road people, from the from the shopkeeper, from the dikshobala, from from this chitas family, from from my jo chao guru, from guruji. Uh, so it's not a Korea which I learned by in the school or in the class, but um, it is a very colloquial Korea. And the Korea which I learned the first year it remained the basic. After that, I think. It didn't really, maybe became a little more speed, but it didn't really improve that much. So that was an important factor. And um, then also, um, uh, there are so many things. Um, yeah, uh, I was uh, saying it. Then I, I, I was staying in the Chita's house. And uh, what happened is, I didn't have a proper room. I was uh, in a corridor. Uh, so in this corridor there was only a, a bed, and uh, by the time I, I reached there it was October November, but when it became a little bit uh, hot in March April, uh, it was very uh, difficult to stay without a fan. So, uh, so by that time I had become close to Kuku, uh, Kuku Mohanty, so very often I was going with my cycle. Luna had not yet come, cycle, it was the first year. So cycle to her house. So one day we were going to Guruji's house. I just, uh, at that time there was no mobile, nothing, there was only phone, like, landline. So I just entered into a shop because I wanted to do a phone call to Guru. And, uh, and uh, I had the idea, maybe I can ask her, she, she's working in the government office, maybe they have a, a fan which is, which is discarded and I can use it. I mean, after all, I was going to go away, so I was not uh, still. It, it was not um, uh, clear. It was not uh, known that I would stay the entire life. So I, I didn't want to. And I didn't have much money, also. so um, so I I used this phone. I, I asked to this shopkeeper if I could phone, and I phoned to her, and I was uh, asking about the fed, the fed. and uh, the shopkeeper had, and uh, he asked me when I finished the phone. He asked me, do, uh, do you need a fed? I said, uh, yes, in my room, I looked around and I realized that it was a tent shop. And it was full of boxes with Kusha and all this. And so this um, Babana was his name. Um, and he, he just went up and uh, brought down a new box. He opened it up, took up with the good friend and gave it to me. I said, no, no, I, I wouldn't like to buy a new one because I don't even know how it, no, 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 you don't have to buy. Keep it. When you, when you leave, you give it back. Can you imagine? I mean, anywhere in the world, when there will be a foreigner who goes anywhere to buy, they will ask you for double price. Uh, for sure, they, they, they will try to, to, to cheat or to, 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 to ask for more. And here in Qatar, this gentleman, he took out a new bag and gave it to me. So I took it, not only, since I, I stayed for 11 years, the fan is still with me. And I, the, the, during the 11 years, every year I was going to him, and he was cleaning and polishing it and oiling it, and all these things, and he to me. So he also took care of the fan for all the time, all the years that I was in Qatar. 
So this is just a credible according to me. I mean, uh, uh, only theory that we can happen. And so I, it's very, um, it is something which is uh, very symbolic of what is uh, So, so that was uh, during the, um, the first year, and uh, uh, then uh, when I then during that time, for example, I I, I used to uh, there was another uh, um, uh, another episode like uh, um, just near the chicka's house. Just I was a, I had a psycho, so I needed I needed some time to repair it and all that. So there was a psycho uh, uh, not shop, I can't say shop. It's just a whatever. It was very kind of thing. I can't call it shop. Uh, so um, there was one um, boy you know, named Govinda, and his assistant was Kalia. So I didn't friend of them because I was just sitting there on the bench uh, with them sometimes taking tea, and then they were repairing my cycle. And then I went there sometimes also without having to repair the cycle, I would go there and uh, just. Uh, so that was the way I also learned Korea by, by, by this kind of uh, uh, relationship. And um, so um, then, then well, they invited me also for, for lunch in their room, <laughs> a small cubicle. I, 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 and and uh, the, the lunch was, so the day which they gave me the prepare for lunch, it was a big day for them. And uh, they had to clean the entire space and then give, uh, certain, uh, create space for the big guests that they, 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 had, they, had, they were going to have. And then, I remember utilizing one with two of the second repair, uh, punching the, the rasuma and all that, and, and making the masala and so on. And then I, <coughs> I enjoyed that life so much. And, uh, and, um, and then when, when I told to my people where I was staying, it was just uh, near to their house, just across the They were surprised, they were saying, Are you, uh, you uh, had the country plan? <laughs> what, was, what was wrong? Uh, I mean, uh, for, for me, uh, it, it was um, there was no difference of uh, caste or anything. Everybody was uh, my friend in And uh, but in their house, um, uh, there was something which for me was very strange. Like uh, I, I was in this corridor, and in the room near me, yeah, I was there already with the bed. But in the room near me, I was observing, I was new at that time, so many things I didn't know. Uh, I was observing that there was always not too, too much light, a little bit of dark, and there was a full bed with mosquito net, fan always going, and uh, nobody was coming out from the room, nobody was going inside. So once I opened, I just looked inside and uh, I saw that on the bed there was a picture of a picture. And so then I came to know it was the Guru, spiritual guru. And that rumor was always kept as if he was a human being. And uh, so those things were, were for me that uh, if they were very strange. I was thinking, oh, I'm here as a living being and I don't have a fan and I'm suffering. <laughs> and in this rumor, there was no mosquito like the fan. <laughs> so uh, all these things were, were there. But, uh, but uh, I mean, uh, everything for me it was new. Uh, uh, but I was absorbing it, and, uh, and uh, you see, I was not here as a um, to to study from from far away, like an anthropologist who who analyzes and everything. I was here yeah, trying to understand it, but I had a key to enter into the culture through my dance. So that helped me a lot. Because without that, I would not have stayed for so long, for sure. Dance is something which is so related to everything. So um, I, and my guru was only guru, not only guru in dance, but only the person who guided me inside in this culture. So many things uh, I had to understand slowly, and I could understand also because uh, the the dance which was I was learning, it was uh, happening all around me, the same posture, the same way of gesture, 
the, the, the same chant, the same melodies, the same prayers, the same uh, belief. And the, so everything was reflected in the dance and the dance reflected what was around it. So Katan for me was an open book. Like that. by coming by Luna, I was in the morning, I was I could understand that which day of the week it was by the Rangoli, that type of Rangoli which the ladies would do outside the road, ah, today is Mambal Puja, or today is Thursday, today is Saturday, because every, every day the different, um, uh, different worship world would be there. Then I was seeing that, that people was opening their uh, sh shop, and before, before doing anything that they would do, uh, uh, small Puja, um, putting flower to the if, if the, the first thing that they would sell, uh, the first money they would get, they would say pranam and then put it in the, in the... So all these things uh, were, were new to me, but they were all there. I mean, I, I, I was uh, exploring and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, seeing and, and absorbing all these things. Then I was seeing the people uh, putting the, uh, the card on the, on the, on the floor. And, and then renewing the, the roof uh, in winter with the new straw, uh, removing the old one. And so uh, all, all, the, all this, um, just going around on the street by Luna, <laughs> because that was, oh, that was for me, a, 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 I was like a queen going around on my own floor. And, uh, and so I was observing all this. And then I would reach Guruji's house, and I would see that the same uh, Pujari, in the course, Judisha was coming and uh, doing the puja, and the same puja, the same uh, prayer what he was singing. I, we were learning in the class as a, as a dance piece, and uh, then I was observing the Kurma doing the ruti chapati and sitting there with, uh, on the pole, the one knee up like this, and with the little bend, bend like this, and I, same pose which Guruji put up for the Ashtapadi. Kuryavinandana or any other women poses. And, uh, and so it, 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 it was, this was what made me stay. I mean, staying there without me ever consciously thinking or deciding. It was something which happened on its own because it was not possible to extract one movement from uh, and, and going away. The movement was was referring to some other things. They had a meaning. It has a purpose. It has a context. So to understand this context, to understand this meaning, it was meaning to understand the entire culture. And this culture was still alive. So I was not learning this dance in a. Well, probably even in Delhi would have been different because you come out from the classroom and you are immersed in totally another life. But here there, is, there was no discontinuity between what I was learning inside the school, inside the room, and what was happening around. So, so this made me go, going deeper and deeper and deeper, and, and it was never ending. So that's why without realizing, the six years went. And uh, uh, I never went back to Italy even once. And I never even thought that maybe I should uh, go. My brother got married, my sister got married, they had child there, and I just was sending the telegram that was the only communication. There was no even uh, that about internet and all these things. There, there was not even a, um, a CD when I came. So I had to book the two cards that I had with these things. But for six years, I never went back and I, and I, it, I was totally surrounded and absorbed in this, in this culture. And uh, it, 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 six years, after six years, Guruji had to literally throw me out of the class for something which happened, and he also, he also told me, I don't know why, why but I, I cannot teach you anymore. Right? So that was the end of my life. So I, this, that time, I decided maybe I should go back. For, so in 85, after six years, I went back, uh, I had a couple of performances, and when I came back, I would have had forgotten about what he had, why he was angry with me, and everything was proceeded normally. But it was, I realized that if he had not done that, probably I would not even gone back at that point. And it was important at that point that I reconnected with my 
uh, down with my family and my, my people over there because from there, from then on, I kept on going every year and perform and I, I could share some of these things which I had so lucky, I was so lucky to, to experience here and to absorb here. So that was important. And again, Guruji has been very instrumental for that because probably if he had not literally thrown me out that day, I could not have reconnected with that with my past. So, so this is what happened. There is also recently, uh, I, I was in Puri, so I was remembering about this. Uh, one of my first research was uh, um, on the Devadasi. And uh, I was almost adopted by one of them, Dunguriapa, uh, this Arabia uh, Dini. So I, I don't know um, how the, the, uh, I, I reached there. I had a friend, my dad was taking Puri, so I used to stay in her house and go to Dunguriapa house. And, and then after one and a half years, I was here, and I, I, I knew already only about the time, so I didn't need any translator or anything, just directly with her. And I would sit there for hours, asking her about the, all the rituals inside the temple. Inside the temple. I could not go inside the temple, but uh, by, because of her, my connection with her, if I, if I was closing my eyes, I was seeing all the different things that she, all the different sections of the Puriman that she was telling me. And uh, so I was writing down whatever she, she was telling me. Uh, naturally, uh, I had to cross-check with the Puriya study in the monastery because it was not so easy. But, but um, so that was a very beautiful. Uh, and uh, she, at a certain point, she decided to adopt me because she saw me doing a Rajokucho or Sichi one song in the technique in Budasha. And uh, um, that was a song which belonged to their uh, repertoire. And so she liked it so much and uh, I remember when, uh, after she saw me in the Budasha, then uh, the next day when I went to her, she decided to adopt me. And um, she was very warm. And, uh, uh, so even the fact that I couldn't go inside the temple was compensated by the fact that one of them has sort of not only accepted me, but uh, and I I remember, I remind, uh, uh, remember because recently her great great granddaughter got married in Puri a few days ago, and, and all the people I, I had done a photo in eighty one of her, her family member. She was staying with her brother's wife, and. They, in the photo, there were uh, four or five members, family members in the one that photo is still with me. And when I went to this marriage, all these people had grown up, except the, the women who one of them died and Guria was not there, which was there in the photo. But all the other members were there to be present in this marriage of this girl. Of this girl. And, uh, and so they were, they were so uh, happy to see me. All of them remember they were small. <laughs> Was 81, 40 years ago. Uh, but they were so happy to see me, and especially the, the lady who is the grandmother, and now it was, and, and now she's very old, but she was there. She, she was so affectionate and so happy to see me. And uh, so it, after 40 years, I mean, uh, it, it was a beautiful uh, reunion. And uh, even when this girl came to learn from me, uh, because now she's, she got married, but she was learning from me. So I was, I said, see, uh, from the Vedasi tradition, uh, the, this girl has come to learn from me. So it was a, a, sort, uh, a, a, a sort of a totally being accepted, uh, uh, not only accepted, there is no uh, no more discrimination, no, no the fact that I was Hindu, non Hindu, uh, for, for that, the, the only, uh, they accepted me as I was, and because of my total dedication and commitment. So that was a uh, great satisfaction. Um, so this is, um, let me see what I can say more. <laughs> uh, coming back to that. Um, well, I have two friends here. Um, one is Tappan. Uh, Tappan, I, I call them Polynesian, so named Tappan. 
uh, he has been uh, my only medical uh, guidance. So whatever, uh, thanks God, I didn't need uh, uh, my major, major things in these 43 years. But whenever I need anything, uh, when I was in, in uh, Sahel White House, he, he, uh, he used to, to see me and uh, we were very good friends. And, uh, but even now, if I need something, I call him and I ask uh, what, what I should do, what medicine I should do, whom I should consult. So he, we are still in touch, so this is 43 years now. And, uh, uh, and then uh, morning, the morning, morning, uh, I, I um, when she got married, I think in 81, I was there, and um, that was the first marriage I saw. And I, I wrote down a long uh, report, it's still there. According to me, it was all magic. I mean, uh, for me, it was like a princess, which was getting married, and uh, uh, a dog, and, uh, and all these ornaments, and all, all these rituals, and all these incense. In the beginning, everything, of course, is more magic. When, uh, when, uh, you, when you, then after some time, you, uh, you go and uh, research more, and uh, you, you become more analytical. But it was fascinating uh, to, to assist with that marriage. And the first experience is always the first one. So, and after that, of course, uh, we remained friends. Uh, if, if I had to mention, uh, some friends are always or the only from Patak. I mean, Bhubaneswar, uh, 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 yeah, there are many people who are uh, making and all this, but they are real friends are from Patak because naturally, it's, it's like consider this my second childhood that you start with uh, at that time to, to have real friends. So so those are less lasting ones. And uh, so and then of course the, I had to shift to Venetia because uh, uh, Simon Roy at a certain point uh, decided to uh, on that Basati where I was on the Kajori, uh, which usually it was the Kajori never had enough water in summer, so it was always sand with a lot of wind, and my room was always full of sand. Uh, so that, but I spent 11 years there uh, with that friend, the good friend given by Papa. And uh, uh, so at a certain point, we decided to build on the terrace some other rooms, uh, and uh, uh, I didn't need all those rooms. So I had to shift from there, and by that time, Guruji had shifted to Malaysia. So, so I, I thought that uh, I should go to shift. And that was so painful, really painful. And uh, uh, it, it, in my room, I had only one room, and very really systematic. And in that, in that room, in 11 years, everything was so well put that when I had to pack, I took one month to, to pack all the things. I, I, it was, I didn't realize that I had so many things in one room. And, uh, so I went to, to, went to Malaysia, and the first night I cried the entire night, I remember. I said, what I'm doing here in Malaysia? It was too painful to have to leave Kanak. Uh, so then, uh, of course, the professional life uh, uh, started to grow, and, uh, uh, and then I purchased this land, which was uh, on the Pindu Sagar. And the only place where I could survive in Malaysia was in the old town, because it was reminding me of Batak. So even if they were giving me a, a new apartment in the a new part of the town, I do not for sure accept it. The only place that which reminds me of a little bit of Batak is the old, old town. And it so happened that when I was in Batak, I used to go to Bhubaneswar to do the picture, to do the photo, to take photo to the sculpture in the, around the temples. So I was always passing through that Bindu Sagar, and I was looking at that tank, that lake, and I used to like it very much because it was reflecting every time it was different mood uh, according to the sky. Sometimes it was blue, sometimes it was white, sometimes it was grey, sometimes it was... So I, I really like that Pindu So uh, when I, I used to just think like this, if I never, never do a house in my life, it would be on the Pindu This was just a thought. So after one year or two that I was in Bhubaneswar, I was in a rented house in Ulta. And somebody came and knocked at my door and I said, uh, uh, are you really interested in to, 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 to purchase a landing on the Bindu Sagar? 
I said, how do they know? No, no, because these are things which happen in it. But I knew the other part of the Hindustan, the distant part, not the western part. So where, where I wanted that was I am the person who was there. So I thought, where well, is the place where it is all? Well, I mean, where is the No, no, there is. So he brought me there and he showed me this piece of land. <laughs> and then I went into this great Malay thing and a nightmare to, to understand this land, uh, if it was possible to buy, the Devata Costa, and the Stinti Bana, and uh, if it was the uh, old leaves from the temple, then I rushed here and there. But finally, I got the land, and I put my build the house. And uh, when I built this house, uh, well, I, by doing the foundation, so many beautiful stone came <coughs> up. It, uh, it would come from the ground, and it seems that there was a mark mark there. So, um, so everything happened the way it had to happen. I don't know why it uh, it's, it's, it was uh, to, to happen like this. But so my life on the blues, I had started, and I, my school started, and all this thing. But but Kata remained in my heart, and uh, uh, whenever. Even if I didn't have any reason to come, I would come. I have a family where I go directly to them, and I reach there at 2 o'clock any time without informing, I sit at the table, and the food is there for me. Not only for me, this is what Qatar is. It is, it is without formalities. You don't have to be invited, and you don't have to take appointment. So that is something which, according to me, is unique. And even now, it is still like this. And I, I, I really, Bhubaneswar is just 30 kilometers away, but it is totally different. I mean, you, you have to be invited to some place, you have to take appointment, you have to make a... <coughs> Here, even now, I come, I decide, I take the car, I go at 2 o'clock, I sit in the car, I edit the road, and I don't know how. The food is always there. So I <laughs> what happened to that food is somewhere, if some guest doesn't come, I have no idea. But the food is there. And, uh, and uh, so this openness is, is uh, really very unique. And uh, uh, every time I, I remember there was a the film director who came from Italy, and uh, they had gone to Calcutta to shoot a film. There was a film festival over there, and uh, they showed the Italian film there. And then they wanted to come to Orissa, so they called the council over there, called me. And I wanted to book a room, a hotel, and they said, no, no, they want to stay with you. Here and his cinema director. So I said, okay, I was already having my new house on the Bindu side. And then they, they came, and I told them, so they asked me, what would you suggest they should, uh, we should do? I said, you go to Qatar. I said, go to Qatar, and then they asked me, what, what, what do we do? Nothing. You just go and roam around. I, there is no proper destination, no proper monuments to, to see or anything. Just go. And uh, think so they took a bus and they, they, they come to Qatar. And they, at the end of the day, they came back. They were a little bit. <laughs> they, they had, I mean, they must have roamed around the entire day. It was also hot and And I said, then, what happened? And they said, Indiana. Qatar is the most wonderful place in the world, they told me. This is exactly that I say yes. <laughs> this is it. So I think uh, now I don't know if it's 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. No, no, no. Can continue. I, I can continue. <laughs> so, so this is uh, for me what it, what it is. Of course, I should also talk about my guru um, because he has been fundamental for, uh, for my, because see, uh, if I didn't have, as I said, if I didn't have dance as a key to enter into these things, uh, th that was giving me the, the cue, the, the, the direction. So, uh, so through that only I was expanding and, and coordinating and uh, so, but then, oh, I forgot that um, when I was in the first years, I wanted to learn Sanskrit. And, uh, um, I had another guru. I have very good guru, many guru masters and things. So, uh, Pati, uh, Pati, 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 uh, Chandra Sekhar Pati, I think. So, I was quite young. I was staying in one lane there in Qatar. And uh, um, so I went to him and uh, 
I was learning the level and I was learning this alphabet, which we in Italy we have only the alphabet. It's not even so long like uh, English. We don't have th, for example, we have ta, ta, ba, flat, like this. And I have to learn this ta, 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 ta. And so that, that comes with the, the tongue. And so I was there, then he was in this small room, behind me was the window, with the bar, the bar, the small window of the Qatar house. And the, my good, my master was there in front of me, and I was giving the shoulder to the, to the window. And for, for hours, for so many times, I was in the ta ta ka ta ka ka ta ka ka ta ka And then sometimes I was looking back, <laughs> I was seeing all the children on the road, they are inside, looking inside in those bar the window and say, no, what are they talking about? It was a parrot or something that was a bit in this But I was a god talk, god talk. I think they must have all grown up now and become even that I think they will not forget that they was being god talk in their sarcasms. So this is why another good. Unfortunately, I would have loved to, to learn more Sanskrit, but whatever, at least alphabet, the Balangri and everything, I learned and they came out to be very uh, useful, of course. <coughs> then, uh, so, I know this. Then, uh, I mean, <coughs> so, so many things which, which uh, uh, the, the, so many uh, people who were, uh, I was very uh, fond of milk, and, uh, and I, I don't know in how many houses I got a glass of milk. <laughs> so every, everywhere it seems that it was, uh, it was open for me. But even uh, recently, I was just uh, um, uh, I, in, the, in that area where the site Baba is, uh, I was just, it was a day in which probably the market was closed, it was quite calm. So I was just walking. And, uh, I remember one uh, cycle, the uh, bicycle, one old man came and he was just walking like this and he passed me and then he looked back at me and he said, Oh, I'm not in Tiajati. Now in Katak. <laughs> now I've left Katak since the last 30 years. <laughs> this old man got more strong. He said, He said, I'm not in Tiajati. I'm not in Tiajati. So, so that is, uh, uh, I'm very well known, <laughs> so I can say. And, uh, um, so this is, uh, and uh, Guruji's house, of course, uh, was, uh, was the main, uh, main uh, target, the uh, main um, place uh, where I, I should always reach. I don't know how many of you have seen the house. Uh, he had uh, built this beautiful uh, room, dance, dance room, the floor. Uh, but by himself with the, uh, with the cement floor with a lot of uh, design inside and uh, the roof was uh, uh, again done by him uh, with, with bamboos. I mean on the top there is cement but uh, on the roof uh, that by, by bamboo uh, and um, so he, he, he we spent so many summer in that in that room 43 44 45 degree outside but he was doing summer course, summer workshop. So we never realized that it was so hot. Just a small window in the cutter house, with just some straw with some water on the and, um, and then we would spend hours to repeat the same gesture. Uh, like, I, I still remember learning one shabadi. And one, uh, like, uh, one gesture of refusing Krishna and uh, so so many times uh, it was never perfect. So it's supposed to remove his his hands from from Radha's wrist uh, and then go away and then look back. back, look back. So it, this. I, do, I remember still, and it comes, I, it comes automatically. It, it, is, it is so in, uh, inside me, and, and then it was repeated again and again. And uh, in this heat and everything, nothing was 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 uh, I, I only 
just the, the dance and uh, his teaching. And, uh, so that was the, the main, the natural the main what was. My only problem it was that when I was going with the, my uh, raincoat, it was all drenched of water. I never knew where to put it in his house. <laughs> so I was always worried about that. <laughs> because it was so drenching or drenching with water, it was only craving some of water. But I never even once, I remember, missed one class, even in the monsoon season when it was raining like anything. And it was not a small from Sunshine Creek to his house. It was quite a, 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 a distance. But I never, never uh, missed one, one single class. And, uh, so, so those were the years in which um, most of the training happened. And uh, the intensive training happened for me. Uh, so that's why I, I disliked the second childhood because it was uh, learning again how to walk, how to speak talk, how to express in a new language, in a new culture. So, um, and then after I already done with my PhD in philosophy. So, and uh, so all the ego which one could have at that point was totally being crushed again and again. By, but Guruji was very good in that. If uh, you expect something, you will never get. But when you don't expect, then he would be encouraged and he would be given. So he was a very uh, sharp uh, psychologist in that way. So, uh, but in any case, uh, I was never, uh, I mean, I, I wanted always more and more and more. I, I was never satisfied, so I could always follow him everywhere. Uh, the other people would come here from Bombay, from Delhi, from Calcutta during the summer workshop. And when he was teaching in Delhi, they would be for Delhi people, in Calcutta for Calcutta people, in Bombay for Bombay people. Only one person was there everywhere in Calcutta, Delhi, Bombay, it was me. So I was you know, following him in every place. So it doesn't matter if the same item would be taught, I would be polished again and again, the same item I didn't mind. And I remember in Bombay when he was going in month of May, to, uh, to teach um, the uh, National uh, NCPA for a workshop. That was the time in which I had also the child arts exam in the college, in the uh, usually 15th, 16th of May. So, first of May I would go by Konak Express, naturally, um, that class, uh, AC was out of question. Uh, maybe there was one movie in this year, but that. And, uh, and uh, going there, then assist in the first part, then coming back, uh, the middle of the month, do the exams, then again going because I didn't want to miss the last week of the workshop. So in one in the month of May, with the kind of temperature which would be there, we not express two nights in one day. So up and down four times in the third class. But at that time of course, when one is younger, all these things are possible. And uh, but still there was nothing uh, which was too uh, heavy or too difficult or too. The purpose was that, and as far as I could fulfill that, all the rest was nothing. I mean, uh, all the rest could be solved very, very easily. So, but of course, I needed the help of too many people, and everybody has been very helpful, especially here, maybe that here, very here, here, here. So, now I don't know if you want to ask me something. <laughs> Really, Moni. <laughs> she, she, I'm sure now she must be remembering something more than that. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Some, some, <laughs> is it my? No, no, she can. She can. Take. She can come and be there. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yes. Uh, this is just a token. It's a badge of competitor. Okay. So, so we're putting up on um, you and... Uh, uh, he got, you want to ask something? Ah, uh, don't ask. Hello. Good evening to all. Uh, really, it's my pleasure to have with you all of you. Uh, really, we have seen her so many opinions, and uh, when myself and Professor Kartikar used to do some festivals, and she has been there so many times. So, however, but uh, her experience today, uh, actually, for everyone who is sitting here, uh, I thank you, Mr. Shamantra Dipanji for uh, inviting us and to listen to her because her experience about our culture we Canadians definitely feeling proud for from her experience that uh, we Canadians how we treat the foreigners because Luna Mali and uh, Madam was telling right now and, uh, and she is uh, really but one thing I want to ask you what makes you interest to, be, to become a Odishi dancer? Uh, well, uh, it's uh, because there are so many forms uh, in classical dance, mm -hmm. like Kuchipudi, Kathak, and uh, Bharatanatyam, and so many things are there. Yeah, that's why I said it must have been Jagannath, uh, Lord Jagannath, went because <coughs> I knew only Kathak, I, 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 I saw Kathak in Italy, and, and uh, I was doing Kathak in Italy. So I was doing theatre, I wanted to learn some of those movements to, to, to adopt for my theatre work. So I was searching for a form of expression, how to utilize physical expression. And <coughs> we didn't have any, <coughs> sorry, we didn't have any grammar to follow. We were just improvising very widely. And, uh, and uh, so when I saw this Kadakali demonstration in my own town by a guru, Krishna Namudi from Kerala, he came and without makeup, without dressing all these things, just plain body. He demonstrated how by moving the eyebrow, by moving the lips, by moving the hands, by moving the eye, he was expressing different meaning. So I said, my God, this, we were searching for all this grammar and all this, and they have such a systematic uh, system there. So I just went to him and asked, can I learn some of this? Because this is what I was searching for. And he said, yeah, we are going to come for three months in Kerala from 1st of April, that was 1978. And so I went 1st of April and I attended this three months workshop in Kadakani. Very intensive workshop, morning, evening and all. And, 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 and at the end of the three months, I also performed two small pieces with full patch, big patch and dry and so, and after this, the experience was so strong, especially the, the performance was very cathartic. And, uh, and uh, so I just go ask him, but now what to do? Because I, I just uh, had this grief so what it is, this, uh, and, uh, and uh, I, I can't go back just like this. So at that point, he told me, there is another beautiful style, Odyssey style. So why he told me Odyssey, how can I? He, at that point, he could have told me anything. He had, he, later on I came to know he was very fascinated by this. He had met Sanjuta Panikrai abroad in one of his tours and he gave me his address, her address. And he said, I didn't know even Orissa, uh, I had uh, learned in my exams um, uh, on the uh, Indian part, I had done an exam about Surya, uh, Surya, Surya the temple. So, Konata temple, only the only thing that I knew. I didn't even know the location, so I saw Kerala, Orissa, I just crossed and I came here and I went to So, like, at that time I was still very much under the influence of the Kerala experience, which was very strong. And um, so I just learned some preliminary from her, and then I went back to Italy. So, that, the entire thing lasted for three months in Kerala, a couple of months in Sanjitra's uh, uh, place. Not in her place, but here in Bhubaneshu, where she was staying. So I went back, and before leaving from her, one of her uh, 
not students, but one of her dancers, was coming to rehearse with her. And uh, she told me, why are you learning here? Why can't you do this thing in color? And he, she gave me a piece of paper and wrote down this long name, Kiruchalan Mohapatra. That time for me it was impossible to remember. So I just took this piece of paper, put it in my bag, but I went back to Italy. So after, that was uh, uh, around the November or so, so then I went, I composed some uh, one play in theater and I utilized a little bit of movement from Padakale, a little bit from policy, whatever I learned. And I said, if I want to really utilize this movement, and, uh, uh, I mean, utilize it for my work, I have to learn more. So I decided to come for six months. Orissa and six months to Kerala. That was the intention. So I wrote to the Kerala guru. He said, in, in, uh, I wanted to come in uh, June 79, from June 79. So he, kept, he told me, June, July, August. From June, we are in Europe. So you start with Orissa and then you come to Kerala. So I said, that, okay, then I make it by train, by flight. <coughs> then I took the train, then I took the bus, and reached the Qatar. With this piece of paper, I asked him the show fellow, I want to go to this. And uh, from Badabari, he brought me directly to this house. Of course, I was not like this. I was very, as I said, I had all my, I had just got my hair, a lot of hair, curling hair all the way up with this ringless uh, top and with the rainbow skirt. And one one here with the mala here with the stone here, so just but that stuff and a small bag. So I went to directly like this without any formalities to Guruji's house, and Guruji was quite quite exposed to the world. So, but Guru seems that as soon as she she saw me, said, "Ma, can you ma, can you see us?" <laughs> she said, at that time I didn't understand. I've been told this uh, later on quite a few times. And uh, but Kuji was a little more. Uh, so then I told him I want to stay for uh, six months. And uh, so he also said, okay, for six months he must have told. I can, I can, I can manage. And uh, so then slowly, slowly I had to learn how to dress up, how to do this, this and that. And the six months. Uh, it came six years, I never went back to Italy, and then the theater disappeared, Kerala disappeared, uh, it disappeared, I continued it. So, this is how this came in my life. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now I'd like to request a part of hand over the badge, to put the badge there, um, in any manner, and then uh, request, uh, and request one thing, Hello. Hi. Ah, yes. Uh, on request, one thing to present a small payment flow to Madam. On behalf of the character's work. I want to move to move to the floor. Sir, I stopped. 